I had to just let off for two seconds. We're gonna do a little bobbing and weaving. Test the suspension out. Don't burn me down. Don't burn me down. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Slab Train, and welcome back, guys. Forza Horizon 2, man. It's good to be back on this Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, man. I know I did. I know I did. Now, what we're going to be doing today is having a look at the brand new two free vehicles that were included in the brand new Porsche free pack that they just got dropped on us. Now, this pack included the 2012 Porsche 911 GT2 RS and the 2012 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Now, I'm not gonna lie, man. I was actually pretty hyped to see this GT2 come in this pack. This thing is packing a massive punch in here. It has a beastly 3.6 liter twin turbo flat six, 611 horsepower, 516 foot pounds of torque and weighing in at just over 3,000 pounds. Now, those stats being said, this thing is going to be an absolute weapon. Now, this pack is available until July 24th for free, ladies and gentlemen, for free. So make sure you guys go grab your pack before it goes for what, like five bucks? I'm not 100% sure, but just, just don't miss it, man. I'm giving you guys a good enough amount of time to, you know, to really get your pack in. It's very simple to get it. All you need to do is just hit up Forza Rewards Hub and the cars are yours, man. Now, we're going to be driving this GT2 to start us off for today. We're going to be driving a stock version as well as a race upgraded version, which, you guys, I think you're going to love, man. I really do. Now, we're going to get a nice little rev in here, take it a little cruise around here and see how this thing is going to feel, man. 0 to 63.3 seconds? Oh, sign me up, man. Let's go, baby. All right, here we go, man. Where the hell this wants me to go, but we're gonna take it though, real quick. Oh man, this thing is absolutely crazy, man. Very fast coming off the line. Obviously, we have barely any weight on this front end because this is a rear engine, rear wheel drive vehicle. Um, I gotta say, this thing is dangerous, man. This thing is absolutely sadistic driving. I mean, I have all the weight in the rear end just wanting to just come right out as we go through these corners. This car is sadistic, man. Oh my goodness. Now we have big old 245s on the front with, I believe, 325s on the rear. Just trying to hold every part of this vehicle onto this road, man. It is absolutely scary sometimes. You can see this front end just wanted to just slip out. There goes that rear end with it. Oh my god, man. Now, oh... Now, realistically, this car does not need anything, man. You can see right here, 611 horsepower, rear engine, rear wheel drive. There's no need, man. You have plenty and plenty of power whenever you need it. And I mean, realistically, this thing is a drift car in its own. And I mean, it's just, it's all kinds of fast, man. I love it. Now, I figured before we go back to the hub, we need to get a top speed mark for this car, man. I don't know. I've heard this thing goes pretty damn fast, so let's test that theory, man. Here we go, baby. Almost hitting 200 miles an hour right now. This thing is quick. Approaching 195. Cornering is masterful, man. Oh my god. No hesitation on that. Just turned in, gripped up, and we are good to go. Absolutely beautiful machine this damn GT2 is. Woo! Excuse me, man. Imagine seeing this thing rip by you on the highway. Oh my god. We're hitting 203 miles an hour. Absolutely ridiculous. 204. Oh, man, we're dropping a little bit. Those damn hills. Looks like 204 miles an hour is going to be the top speed that we're going to be able to achieve on this stock motor right now. Oh, my God. I can only imagine 
the sound of this thing from the rear end would just be absolutely vicious going by. Woo! Oh, gee, why would you do that, man? God. All right, guys. Now, I know I said that this thing had enough horsepower. I got into the upgrade menus, and I just... I put some more on, man. I don't know what happened to it, but we absolutely made this thing just crazy, man. We made it into a monster right now. And, you know, S2995. Oh, my God. Now, we did keep on the stock race tires on here. We can go with rally tires if we would like. Um, but we did throw on 275s on the front and 345s on the rear. I don't even know if we're going to be able to break traction, but I figured... That if we have some issues, 888 horsepower should suffice. I mean, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying that should be enough. We have race twin turbos on here. I mean, oh my god. I have no idea how this thing is going to feel right now. But I got to say, it should be one hell of a drive. Now, what I've done on here, pretty much left everything stock on this car. But with the additional... I think we're going to lock this differential, man. We're going to give it a little bit of a drifting kind of taste to it. You know what I'm saying? I want to have this differential just slip and slides all over the place. We're going to completely lower this. And we're going to take this thing out for a cruise and see how this feels. Now, personally, this GT2 is probably one of my nicest, I would say, Porsches that I do own right now. You know, just everything with the car. You know, rear engine, rear wheel drive. You can't go wrong, man. And we got the rain right now, baby. Let's go. Man, shut up, Anna. All right, here we are, man. The GT2, little bit of Nice. I figured we'd throw it on Nice. We got some rain going down right now. Thankfully, we still have these race slicks on. So it should allow us for some good, solid traction even still. So we're going to rip a 180 through this next little junction up here. And we're going to see how this thing goes, man. Here we go, baby. Oh, still getting some wheel spin. I like it. And this thing is just now even faster than what it already is. Oh, my God. Hitting up to 200 without any issues. Look at this, man. 197. We're going to shift a little bit early. Oh. Jeez. 205. 207. 209! Oh, man, we have to bring this down a gear. It is just getting a little bit too crazy. Oh, my God. 210 miles an hour. No issues whatsoever. We're going to take it into this little parking lot here. We're going to see how she gets down. Oh, little wall tap. Woo! It's tough to control that rear engine, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Totally different experience than what you're usually used to with a rear-wheel drive front-engine car. It's a totally different feel, man. Weight, everything. But I love it, though. Absolutely love it. We're going right off. Go! Oh, Jet! I did it! Oh, my God. My bad, man. My bad. Now, the GT2 RS retails for $216,000. The next one down would be the GT3 at $180,000. Now, personally, for the money, the GT2 RS is now my favorite 911 in the series in the game it's gotta be because the turbo s only putting out 560 horsepower 135 grand that's okay but it's a stock all-wheel drive car i mean you have everything right stock with the gt2 rs you have the rear engine rear wheel drive 611 horsepower what more do you want man twin turbocharged thing is an absolute monster and personally now my favorite 911 in the group has to be hands down man let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below ladies and gentlemen but now just before we go and grab that cayenne turbo we're gonna get one last top speed run you guys really think i was gonna dip without getting a top speed run hell no man but before we do though this is not a paid sponsorship by any means but ladies and gentlemen we gotta get a good drink of our sunny d orange strawberry man i seen this the other day at the store could not resist picking it up man we gotta get a little bit of sunny d action baby let's go oh oh that's as good as it looks man unbelievable a little bit of orange strawberry sunny d man i love it absolutely love it let me know if you guys are rocking any kind of sunny d or anything at all man but we gotta get a top speed run baby let's go 
little bit worried what this is going to get up to because it's going to get a little bit sticky when we do it, man. You know, this is going to be crazy, man. Here we go. As I said, no problems whatsoever getting up to 200. Oh, jeez. All right, let's give this attempt number two, man. Jeez, this thing will get real quick, real fast. You can't even see traffic in front of you, man. It's crazy. We're getting a little bit of cockpit view, man. I love this red wheel. It is absolutely just, it's beautiful, man. When you're looking at this in the auto show, oh my god. Red wheel, red shifter. The interior is just, it's elegant, man. I love it. We're hitting 212 miles an hour. We're not even in sixth gear yet. Oh, whoa. Did not expect that was going to happen. 214. We're hitting 218 just about. Come on, baby. 218. Can we get to 220? That'd be great. I don't see it happening in the future, though. Excuse me. Oh, I had to just let off for two seconds. We're going to do a little bobbing and weaving. Test this suspension out. Oh, jeez, you don't do that. Here we go, here we go. This thing is just absolutely vicious, man. Like I said, if you need a good old S2, you max this thing out and you will be happy. I guarantee it, man. Or S1, whatever. Fours are always changing the car classes every year. It always screws me up, man. Here we go. Oncoming a little bit. Let's see what's good up here. Oh my god, looks like we're almost taking flight. You see that shit? Oh my god, man. I am getting out of this death trap. I'm going to see you guys at the hub, and we're going to pick up the Cayenne Turbo, man. Let's go grab that thing. All right, guys. So the Porsche Cayenne Turbo 2012 all-wheel drive, big pad V8, 4.8 liters of it, too, man. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Just over 4,700 pounds, and it's good old. It's twin turbo, man, just like the GT2 as well, too. I'm not thinking we're going to do a cruise with it to start us off in stock form, but I'd like to just build it up and do a nice little drift build with this thing and really see how this is going to compete getting a little bit sideways, man. That's that's what I want to see anyways. Alright, so we have got this thing up to an S1892, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we have obviously made this rear-wheel drive stock motor. You can throw in the V12 if you would like to, but realistically... You're not going to need it, man. Now, we did throw on rally tires for this um, as well, too. Fronts are stock. Rears are 325s. They're big and bulky, man. They're nice, though. They really are. In terms of motor, uh, the actual horsepower is 702 now. So, we did bring it up a little bit. And we did go ahead and race out those twin turbos, man. So, this is going to be a badass car, man. It really is. I mean, it is... A little bit heavier I mean not too much though with the weight reduction we were able to bring it down to just over or sorry just under 3,600 pounds so I mean it's not bad for what it is it is still a little bit heavier in a sense but personally though I think this is gonna be a really nice formidable drift car online when we get into you know online packs and stuff like that just because of the fact that it is so quick man I mean you got a big bad V8 redlining at just over seven grand i mean what more do you want and look at this man point proven right here look at this thing third gear digging right now and personally i think that we can get away with stock tires on this because with the amount of wheel spin that we're producing in rally tires i don't see a reason why we can't go with stocks easily because we're actually getting a little bit too much grip so maybe that's what we'll do real quick a little bit of on the fly tuning we're gonna go throw on some of the stock tires and uh, we're looking like we're getting a little bit stale on this third gear. So we're maybe going to have to play with a little bit of the camber. Maybe bump up this tire pressure just to see what we can do with it. But right off the bat though, very, very solid. Sturdy car as well too. It really is. I mean, for the weight, I thought this thing was going to be all over the road. You know, maybe just kind of throwing itself into the corners and not wanting to come back in. But it doesn't feel like that. I mean, obviously we haven't been going too quick around there, but... You know, with that being said, it does hey, seem it like it is a solid car, help you? So these tires are going to go back and uh, throw on the stock form. As I said, I just 
feel like in terms of the grip, we're going to need it. Um, horsepower rating, we're at 702. Now, I I believe that I maxed this motor out, so it's not going to really do much for me. Oh, there we go. We can do ignition. Let's go, baby. 718 right now. We're getting a little bit crazy with the horsepower. That's all right, though. 737. I think that's a solid number, man. Eh? Anybody that knows airplane, 737? I'm just kidding, man. It's 747, but we're going to do 737. All right, we got the good old hooligan California license plate right now. And let's spin some rubber, man. Do a little 360 right here just to show off. Why not? Oh, whoa. We got a lot of oversteer now, man. That's what I want to see. Third gear still smoking. This little weight transfer on there. I mean, personally, car feels nice, man. It really does. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God, Becky. You know, look at that ass, man. Let's go. Oh, I did not want to hit that curb. Now, right off the bat, as I said, you know, the feeling of this car is a hell of a lot better than what I expected. I originally thought this thing was just going to be a boat. You know, after we took off the all-wheel drive system, it really did let the car free. And, you know, that's that's what I love about this damn Cayenne Turbo is that, you know, once it's rear-wheel drive, it just becomes almost a whole nother car. And, or, I mean, SUV, whatever you want to call this thing, it just becomes another form. And it's more like, you know, it's just drift ready. It really is. I mean, a big old pad 4.8, V8 twin turbocharged? I mean, god damn, man. Absolutely unbelievable pack from turn 10. You know, giving these cars for free for us. I gotta give a big thanks for that. I mean, now we just had two additional cars in that Porsche expansion. So, I mean, really, you can't go wrong at all with picking up that expansion. You're gonna get two free cars as well, too, with it if you haven't already picked it up. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh, my god i gotta give a big thumbs up for both vehicles you know originally i thought that you know they weren't going to be the greatest i then looked into a gt2 and a cayenne turbo oh my god sign me up and look at this thing man like i told you thing is absolutely gorgeous man i'm gonna take a trip down to the docks real quick big thanks again ladies and gentlemen for coming around to the channel i guess the cayenne does not want to go there man it said no 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 we're not going to the dock, so we ain't going, man. We ain't going there. Ladies and gentlemen, big thanks for stopping by to the channel. If you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. As well, too, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box down below. I want to give a big shout-out to Grizz Designs for hooking me up with my overlay system for PC, Xbox, and PS4. I think he did an absolutely incredible job with that, so big thanks to him. Ladies and gentlemen, two more to slab trade, Forza Horizon 2, Porsche expansion, add-ons, I guess, two free vehicles, man, you can't go wrong, make sure you guys go visit your Forza Rewards hub to claim your prizes, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the two more to slab trade, I'm out. Peace.